guys. Thanks so much for taking the time out to sit, watch and listen to this very important message. In fact, it's not just a message, it's a calling. A calling to you, the friends of Johnny Hayden, a calling to the community of Greystones to open up your hearts and achieve a goal. The goal is to raise money for Johnny Hayden. Johnny's one of our, one of our own. A friend to many, known in Greystones. He's active, surfs, mountain bikes. Last year, Johnny traveled to Barcelona for a routine back operation. Unfortunately, it all went wrong. After the surgery, he developed two hematomas, bleeds. He was immediately rushed into surgery where they tried to release some of the pressure that was building on the spinal cord. Unfortunately, it didn't go right. And Johnny is now paralyzed from the chest down. Johnny was airlifted by helicopter back from Spain into Ireland so that he could spend some time with his partner and three kids. His partner was four months pregnant at the time of the accident. I met Johnny 18 years ago um, when I came over from back in 1995 um, as an au pair. Um, I was meant to be here for a few months and um, fell in love, love at first sight and never left Greystones. He spent many months in Ireland, in rehab. He became increasingly frustrated at the lack of progress. And so when an opportunity arose to go to Barcelona, he took it. He went to the Institute Gutman in Barcelona and for the last four months has been battling against all the odds to try and walk again. I would like to thank family friends, work colleagues and especially the Greystones community for their support and continued help. Um, it's just the start of the road for Johnny. Uh, he's got a long road to go. It's Johnny's wish that on his 40th birthday he can stand on his own and take some steps forward with his partner and his kids, his newborn baby, Hope. He's a great guy, he's, he's a, he lives for his girls um, he misses them terribly but uh, he's, um, he's a fighter I am and uh, he will, he will do this and um, he's, he's too much to fight for. Well Johnny's a, like he's a, he's a you know, he's been my best pal all my life. I've known Johnny since since we were babies. Um, he's a super family man, brilliant with the kids. You know, he, he just did so much with the kids when they were younger. Um, Johnny's biggest thing, I suppose, is sport. He loves, uh, you know, he's big into the surfing, loves mountain biking, um, running, anything. Just has to keep active and fit all the time, you know. Um, and so this is his worst nightmare, literally his worst nightmare come true. Um, and you know anything we can do just to get him like he's kind of he keeps saying that uh, you know if he could just stand but when he stands he'll want to walk and then when he when he's walking he, he'll want to run but none of us know how far we get him down that path but you know we get him as far as we can down it and uh, you know right now even just take a few steps would be a phenomenal achievement for him um, he's, he's kind of in his own prison and it's affecting him mentally as well as physically it's not just the physical side of you know not being able to use his legs um, so yeah, it's, it's just such a huge deal to him to, to just take a couple of steps. I think one of the biggest things for him that he kind of says to me sometimes is, you know, he feels like he can't be a proper father because he's in the chair. Um, so getting him up and on his feet would give him that back, you know, that's kind of huge. I, um, Jonathan, I, I was so shocked when this happened to Jonathan and it's just got more difficult since it happened. <laughs> It's a very hard time at the moment. But I love him to bits. I wish he was home walking as normal. Then I pray every day that's what will happen. 
We're sending out an SOS call from Johnny's partner, family and kids to help him in this most testing time. He needs to stay in rehab in Spain to walk again. Um, we, we have only enough money to the end of May and we need your help to keep Johnny in Spain, in rehab, for the next couple of months. If we don't raise six grand each month for the next six months, he will return home and he will have to live his life in a wheelchair. Again, if we don't have financial help, it's just, we just can't bear thinking about that. How do we do it? Well, it's a lot easier than you think. We need 300 people to donate each month a minimum of 20 euro. More if you can. 20 euro will get Johnny up and walking again. 20 euro. Four movies a month rented from Exorvision. It's four Happy Meals. It's less than one euro a day. Guys, if you can just take the time, contact us, grab a direct debit form, sign your details on it. AIB Grayson's have kindly said that they will process this ASAP. Do it. Greystones, join hands together, stand up. Open your hearts, open your purse strings. Help Johnny. Help a family in ruins. Help these children. Get their dad, hold his hand, stand up and take steps forward into a new future. Hopefully when we get through this um, and I get my life back to some way normal, I can repay um, I can repay some other family in the Greystones community and um, as much as you know people have helped me and I can give back as such. And thanks very much and, and God bless. Please have my body walk again.